Awesome, I like them walking around all the town centre and looking all in the shops. Brilliant, <coughs> brilliant. And um, what brought you to the festival today? I used to help out with First Art and I decided to have a walk down and um, what it's about. Lovely. And you said you've been making music, can you tell us a bit yeah. about that? I'm a, I'm a beatboxer and I'll um, record my own um, music on my computer and add like guitars into it and pianos. Is there anything that you would like to see in Mansfield change with the arts or with music? Um, more local people um, doing their music and like clubs or something to change it and change the scene a bit. Uh, we're on Stella Street. What street is Jackson on? Smith Street. <laughs> and two families. How did you find out about the festival today? I had a book put through my door. Okay, brilliant. How are you? How are you finding it? Brilliant. Yeah. What have yes. you enjoyed so far? Uh, absolutely everything. All the live shows. Uh, we loved the dinner table one, didn't we? The wet picnic. And uh, the singers have been good. Enjoyed the short films as well that we just watched with Can Do. What are you guys enjoying? What have you liked so far? Um, everything. My mum said. Everything? Okay, everything your mum said. Brill. Now obviously you guys live in Mansfield, is there anything else you would like to see going on with arts or film or music? Film, music, oh, I like the idea of the free workshops that they said they're going to do. The old library for children, the drama and um, the make, encouraging them to make their own films and use technology. Okay. <laughs> and if you could see um, more of something, what would you like to be in Mansfield? I like it when we go to the market square and we see the main show and there's lots of different dance styles. I like going into the Four Seasons. You like the Four Seasons? Yeah, when they have the Four Seasons. Santa Claus at Christmas displays. And the Bee Club in the Four Seasons, that's good for children. So you think that probably has already got quite a lot going on at the moment then? There is, yeah. Yeah, there's we have sport for choice in the summer holidays. There's all sorts to do every day. Look, we've got a special microphone just for singing really good songs. Star uh, but I, I'm going to add a difference. A difference? Huh? Yeah. Called... Heroes! Go on then. Go on, do it. Ah, I wish I could swim. Like the dolphins. Dolphins can swim. I know. That's two lines. Well done. Hey. Yeah, Thank you very much. So, how are you enjoying Hello. the festival today? How did you find out about Hello. it? Uh, we had a Hello. grocery thing at home, and I think got put through the post or something. Okay. Uh, we just been in town, and we thought we'd just call off and have a quick look on his way back. Okay. How have you been enjoying it? I've only been here 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're already answering questions. How do you find like arts and film in Hello, Mansfield? Hello, baby. Um, I don't know. This is how stupid it goes to the old every now and again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think there should be more or less? Uh, Hello, Penny. Another one once heard. So I'd uh, I'd give the audience okay, so never that busy. So. Uh, Okay, and how long have you lived in Mansfield? About five years now, five, six years. Oops, I can't see mummy. Hello. Your outfit. Hello. Okay, <laughs> if you could have anything in Mansfield at all in terms of arts or film or music, would you? Was there anything you would like? <laughs> I thought about it. Uh, I was gutted when Blockbuster's closed. What do you think so far? Mm, a little bit boring because most of the stuff. It's like all you have to do over there. It's like silly. Oh, they're like listening to houses. Houses. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean houses? So they like get these telescope things and put them onto the house. Like they made little buildings and put them into 
put the telescopes onto the buildings and it's making silly sounds. What do you think would make the festival better? What would you like? Probably like big rides. Okay. Anything else? Not really. Just like some rides? Yeah, and some like videos and that. Okay, cool. Have you always lived in Mansfield? Are you from Mansfield? Well, my mum lives in Clipston um, and my dad lives in Derby. Okay. And have you done um, lots of things in Mansfield with them, like films, music? Well, I, my mum and my mum took me to uh, uh, um, like this ballet stage, and I think my dad took me to one in, not um in here, like somewhere uh, around here. Is there anything that you would like more of in Mansfield? Mm. More ballet, more dance. Ballet. More ballet. Yeah. I like and that. cheerleading. Do you do cheerleading? Yeah, I've. I watched this film one time and it, um, I really liked it and I wanted to become a cheerleader because it was called cool to bring it on. Oh, I've seen that film, it's a good film. <laughs> we just live in Forest Town, but no. we are from Mansfield. And how long have you been living here for? All our life. So what brought you to the festival today? I actually came to the park with Evelyn yesterday and um, there was a poster up saying that the end of summer festival was on today, so it was quite coincidental I really, wasn't it? I've got to do all these guys' feet. I've got to use that, you. If it's rain, we go to the indoor car beat sometimes. Okay, cool. And what do you think of this festival so far? Well, it's dances, of course, and the, um, the flying and the submarines are good. You do get to dress up and stuff. Would there, is there anything you'd like to see more of in Mansfield? Um, of arts or film or yeah, dance? Yeah, what is that? Can't think of anything? No. So what other free festivals have you been to? If we went to a food festival, we were going to go with my cousins, but we didn't, but we didn't go with the living room. No. I actually want a group um, for free stuff going off in and around Mansfield, um, an okay, event and activities group, and I'll post on there if I ever see anything. So, it's, so we're always going to we're always going to free ones or whatever we can find that we can get a good day out and not spend a lot of money. My brother like it. Did your brother like it? Yeah. Do you feel wow. like there's enough of what you want from Mansfield? Yeah, we, we enjoy coming to all the festivals. Sometimes I don't think a lot of it gets advertised enough. Uh, like this one today, um, I'm always looking for stuff. I, the only time I noticed it was the big poster at the, the front. If I'd not come to the party yesterday, then we, we wouldn't have known about it. So, um, yeah, I think probably they just need a bit more advertisement when they are doing stuff. I know it's been a bit of a shame because obviously it rained first thing this morning. <laughs> we were going to come this morning, but then obviously it rained, so we were like, well, hold on and wait for it rain to stop. What do you think would be a better way to reach people? Um, social media, definitely. Um, obviously, most of people can access that really easy through the mobile Should phones and, and free. So, yeah. I tell you what needs to be new on the radio. They need to do like what's going on. So, like any festivals or stuff. Like advertisement on the yeah. radio. We listen to the radio a lot, don't we? <laughs> yeah, that's a really good idea, actually. So you can the radio presenter tells you what's going on. Brilliant. Okay. And then what have you most enjoyed about the festival today? Um, we've been watching the dancing, haven't we? All the shows dancing. Um, and you had a ride in the cars, didn't you? The bicycles. Yeah, that was good. Like the and yeah, things. that was good. Um, and the wheeler. The wheeler, yeah, yeah. It was on a wheel. I've probably enjoyed most being with my family seven, for the for the day. It's a rarity that we all get to come out together, so yeah, that was been good. And how have you found the festival so far? Well, it was part of my mum's work. Okay, brutal. So what do you know about it? Well, that it's arts. <laughs> <laughs> and what have you seen so far that you've enjoyed? We went to the Star Wars Jedi training, which was very fun. Okay, cool. And what did you do for that? We learned to use lightsabers and do different moves. 
everything we have to do that later I want to do that and do you are you from Mansfield or you're from somewhere else Chesterfield okay cool so not too far so do you think there should be more festivals and things like this yeah yeah what would you like to see more of probably more interactive things for kids maybe okay anything that you can think of specifically no maybe like things that used to be around maybe and then like everything's all technology now it could be some of the older stuff and then parents might know and then they can tell the kids about it yeah that's a really good idea so kind of like historical things okay bro and do you have any interest do you like music or film or art i like art yeah what kind of stuff do you like I like painting and abstract on the computer. So, are you guys from Mansfield? No. They're like 10, 20. Where? 10, 15 minutes. Away. Oh, okay, cool. So, how did you guys get here today? Boss. Okay. Did you come just to have a look around town or? Me and April did. What these two people just went to him. Nice. Okay, lovely. So, how did you hear about the festival? Well, me and April were walking past trying to find these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just saw it, so we just came out. And what do you think so far? I think it's like good because it's, de- it's like different. There were loads of weird things happening. Yeah, what weird things have we seen? I don't know. It's like, like floating table. table. <laughs> floating table. A floating table. Where was that? Down there. Oh, okay. What else? People juggling on stilts. Oh, yeah. Stilts. I can't stilts. do that. I can't that do that. thing over there. Yeah. So would you say that you normally see a lot of this kind of stuff? Like no. Your no. Would you like to see more of it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what kind of stuff would you like to see if you could see more? Mimes. Mimes? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just like more things to do, like something different. Like. Yeah? Do you guys do any sort of like drama or arts or films or anything? Not really. No, no. not really at school. Yeah, okay. we do it at school, but not outside. Do you think if that stuff was available, you'd want to do it? Yeah. yeah. And how do you think would be the best way for like if, if somebody put on this festival again, how would what would be the best way for you guys to find out about it? Probably on the internet. Yeah, Facebook. Facebook. And stuff. Yeah, Facebook. Have you enjoyed the festival today? Yeah. What have you guys seen at the festival? Uh, we ate a hot dog. <laughs> what else have you done? You done anything, Julia? We've seen the man doing weird dances. Yeah, it's it's dough. It's dough. Okay. Did you like it? Yeah. Space bicycle. We're not on the space bicycle and the fish ah! bicycle. Did you ride on one of them? Yeah. Yeah. We, we ride it on both. On both yeah. of them. Amazing. Yeah. And we dressed up. We dressed up. Oh, in the outfits. Yeah. And did you plan to come today to the festival? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. It was a surprise for us too. <gasps> it was a surprise. Yeah. It's been a but good surprise. My mummy, my, yesterday, my mummy had a surprise for me. But she didn't tell me, but I know what it was. It was really expensive. Really, really expensive. It was £150. But it was the pop. Because, because I didn't have it a long time I didn't have it but now I do have it well I live in a block of flats that overlook Titchfield so anything to do with this beautiful park I can consider it my my front garden so so did you hear about it before it happened or did you just uh, well my dad mentioned that there's, there was a sign for something happening here but uh, I actually completely forgot until I was woken up about so uh, one o'clock by the sound, but by the sound of music. So I was, oh no, hope I haven't missed it. But no, there's been. I'll come in and find out. It's quite well organised. But some of the timings of some of the events have been off a bit. But uh, that's that's what happens sometimes. Oh, okay. So are you from Mansfield then? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've lived here for. Uh, I wasn't born here. I, I, I've lived here for a, a year uh, and a half. And what's your experience of it so far? I really like Mansfield. I, I love the shopping. I love the fact that I can buy cheap stuff from home, from home bargains just just down, just down the road there. Uh, it's sort of heaven and hell from a personal, personal experience. I've got Titchfield one side and I've got the YMCA the other, but the windows I have, they're not particularly very 
good soundproofing wise so I do hear a lot of noise uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on the move I think it's great I think, I think Mansfield is amazing and do you feel like it has a lot of this kind of festivals and arts and films going on? Mm, well, I missed it all last year. This, if, if this all happened last year, I wasn't, I, I wasn't aware of it. In terms of other festivals here, no, no, I haven't seen many festivals. Is there anything you would like to see more of? More of this, especially if it's organised. If if, 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 with this book here, which gives me all the uh, times and the, and the dates, although some of them have been rearranged, unfortunately. Uh, having something like this is perfect because you can plan your day there. I mean, if there was just one event going on, you wouldn't know if there was any more, so you wouldn't stay. But if you know that there's going to be more happening, you can plan your day, and this is this is the best way of uh, doing it. And although we all like stores and stuff, this is the type of stuff that people really enjoy when you actually get to watch something. And people can showcase their skills and, and stuff. On the time, mm -hmm. there was a kind of spooky house, and then. A ghost came out, and then a vampire came out, and then a witch came out, and then, and then they sneaked into a house, and then, and then it happened to Christmas, but it was still Halloween, and, and then, and then they got somebody, but then, and then. They just escaped because the, because the man was chasing the, the ghost. Did you make that story up in your head? Yeah. Really? Wow. wow. Do you... and, then, and then Santa Claus came and then he gave the them unpleasant but then they were still chasing each other. What happened next? In their hand. And then they went quickly in the Halloween house. And then they locked it, but the man was inside. Because he was very close. And, and then, 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 they went to the top, but then, then they fell down. And they went, but then they, they leave the door locked. So they couldn't get. Inside. Finished. Finished. That was an amazing story. Thank you. I think that deserves a round of it applause. Does.